Good afternoon, I'm Ella and I'm going to talk to you today about a project that I'm starting called 12 Years and Counting. Now the 12, name 12 Years and Counting emphasises the world's current issue of climate change and how we have 12 years to tackle this issue before we reach a point where either the damage caused is irreversible. In addition to this, the project is, um, the project is also an addition to work I've already done in school, as I've already got rid of the polystyrene cups used by members of staff after doing a presentation. This gets rid of 1,000 polystyrene cups a week that were used, which means it was a staggering 40,000 per school year. This is just in one school. The project is also a follow-on from MELT, as we'll be using the fundamentals in our research, as we'll be using the carbon calculator to measure the school's carbon footprint before and after implementing changes. The first change I aim to make in my school is to make the school free from single-use plastics, as the school is estimated to sell 1,000 plastic bottles daily. As well as using the carbon calculator to do this, we'd also collect all the plastic waste from one year group over a week to, so that we have a physical representation of what this could be over one school year, over the whole school in a week. Um, and then we'd pre present a proposal as to how we can change this and um, use the carbon calculator again after this has been changed. This is also a base for other changes I hope to introduce in the school, such as planting trees and flowers, recycling and reducing the amount of waste paper. I also have hopes to push this project throughout Kent through my position as a member of the Kent Youth County Council, as it will also show how young people are passionate about saving the environment. And thank you. Um, do you plan to take this to a national level or just in Kent? I think nationally it would be a good thing to do because if every school is producing some form of plastic waste or carbon emissions and uh, across the UK there are 6,000 secondary schools so if that was 1,000 bottles per lunchtime we worked out that that would be 1.2 billion plastic bottles from school a year if they're all to the same size and scale which that is quite a lot if you think about it. That's just secondary schools. It's not including waste from primary schools, sixth form centres, colleges, universities, and like nothing to do with like businesses. So it'd probably be a good idea if we start with schools and then they expand further into businesses or universities. Excellent, fantastic, great question up here. I'll just pop up. How would you try and encourage other students to stop using these single-use plastics? So we have decided to build a website which can encourage other students, and we also have decided to use a posit positive correlation between plastics and non not using them as a reward system. For example, recycling. We think that if students knew that they would get something out of recycling and get something out of um, not using plastics and improving the environment, it could have a positive correlation to it all and they might feel more impacted to actually do something. Um, when you say about when you give them rewards, how can you check that they've actually recycled or something and they've not just lied about recycling and stuff? Um, we are thinking of supervisors and teachers and staff members around the school that are around at lunchtime and break time. So if students are throwing um, ways down, they will be there to talk to them. Another way you could probably do that is if you had, because I know in my school, I don't know if other schools are the same, you have house systems. So if you had a house system recycling bin, so it's like maybe the house with the most recycling at the end of the term goes on a reward strip or something like that, because then it benefits all the students that are in that house. And it also means that you don't have to monitor it, monitor it as much because all the recycling waste is going into specific houses' bins. So it's a reward system that way and not just to the individual students. Love it. That sounds great. So, Lucy, thank you very much to the Harris Academy Tottenham and Canterbury Academy. <laughs>